So just how bad are the health problems of the thousands of rescue workers who spent weeks at ground zero after 9-11? Many of them have become sick, respiratory illness, cancer. Some have died. Now, New York City cops have started a new campaign to find out just how widespread the problem really is. Martha Solis has the story. A scar marks the spot where surgeons removed Victor DePiro's cancerous thyroid gland. The veteran NYPD cop was diagnosed three years after he spent months working at Ground Zero. He says it's no coincidence. The city has to realize that what happened on September 11th, uh, that rubble, there was a lot of toxins in that rubble. The air wasn't as clear as everybody thought it was. I've got cops calling me every day getting sicker and sicker. David Warby represents 8,000 people who worked at Ground Zero. He urged the police union to start a health registry. Today, the PBA launched the website aimed at providing its members with the most information possible regarding illnesses and treatments. And I'm telling you, there's 350 people who have cancer, and we've just begun the critical periods of time after the exposures when these cancers start. Over the last five years, there have been other medical studies and health registries for first responders, but the police union says this one is different. They're not sharing the information. So say you're starting to feel sick, but you don't know where it's going to go. You have no baseline data to say, this is what I should be concerned from. So far, 25 cops have signed up for the registry. As for Officer DePiro, he says he has no regrets about his work on the pile and thinks the website will be a valuable tool. It's just about awareness, it's about health, and it's about being able to live and enjoy your family. Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.